This is part 4 of ASP.NET Chart Control tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to bind database data to Chart Control. This is continuation to part 3, so please watch part 3 before proceeding. In part 3 of this video series, we discussed creating chart data programmatically. But the problem with this code is that we have hard-coded student data within the application code. In real time, student data is stored in a database table. In this video, we'll discuss how to retrieve data from the database table and then bind it to the chart control. So the first step is to create the students table. So let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. Here I have the SQL code to create the students table and then populate it with data. I have already created this table and here is the data. Now let's flip to Visual Studio. The second step is to include a connection string in web.config file. So within the configuration section, let's include connection strings section. And here we need to have a connection string that points to our SQL Server database. So let me paste the connection string here. And then within the code behind file, we need to write ADO.NET code to retrieve data from the SQL Server database. So let's bring in the required ADO.NET namespaces. We need system.data.sql client and we need system.configuration. And within get chart data function, we need to write code to retrieve data. So the first step here is to read the connection string from web.config file. So let's make use of configuration manager class. And the name of the connection string is CS. So we have the connection string now. The next step is to create a SQL connection object. So SQL connection con equals new SQL connection. Let's pass the connection string that we have read from web.config file. The next step is to create the SQL command object. So now for the chart, we want student name and total marks. So here I have the SQL query, which is going to return student name and their total marks. So let's copy the SQL command and then specify it here. And we want this command to be executed using the connection that we have previously created. Now let's open the connection and let's execute the command. So command.execute reader. And let's use a SQL data reader. Alright, now while we are looping through each record in the data reader, we want to add the student name and total marks to the chart control. Now we will be adding data points to the series one element that is present inside chart one control. So we need this line as well. So before we open the connection, you know, let's get a reference to the series of the chart control to which we want to add data. And then, you know, we will be using the points collection property of the series element and we'll use the add XY method. So here, instead of hard coding the data, we now need to read the data from the data reader and then add the data to the series. So to do that, we have the reader object. So reader of, on the x-axis, we want the student name. And if you look at the columns here, the name of the column is student name. So let's copy that and specify that as the value for x-axis. Let's convert that to string. And for y-axis, total marks is the value. So RDR of total marks. That's it. So let's delete that and let's go ahead and run this code now. So now the chart should actually be retrieving data from the database table. So let's select column, for example. Uh, notice that the data is displayed using a column chart. And let's select donut. The data should be displayed using a donut chart. Thank you for listening and have a great day.